Have you ever experienced a deja vu? If so, you may be wondering what causes it, or if there is any scientific explanation behind it. So, what is the deja vu phenomenon? Deja vu is a French expression for the phrase "already seen." Around 97% of the people in the world experience a deja vu at least once in their lifetime, and two thirds of the population experience it more frequently. In simple terms, it refers to a sense of familiarity for a novel situation. It always accompanies the thought that you have experienced something previously, while knowing that you actually never did. Let's take a look at the following scenario. A man walks into his living room and spills coffee on the carpet and gets very upset. A few hours later, he has arrived at his office and has once again spilled coffee. So he thinks to himself. Wow, this is such a deja vu. But wrong. This is not considered a deja vu because he recalls the experience of spilling coffee that morning. If he does not remember spilling coffee that morning but feels the situation is familiar, then it is considered a deja vu. Now that we know the correct definition of a deja vu, let's have a look at what causes it. But before that, here is a little quiz. Which one do you think deja vu is related to? Memory, perception, age. Stress or neurological disorders. If you answered memory, you are correct. But if you chose any other option, you are also correct. In fact, deja vu experiences tend to decline with age and are positively related to anxiety, stress, or neurological disorders. So now let's consider four different theories that help us understand the deja vu phenomenon. In one of the early attempts at explaining the deja vu phenomenon, Dr. Herman Snow used the hologram model of memory. He compared a scene in our memory to be like a hologram, a 3D image containing all the information of a scene. If a small section of a hologram gets expanded, it appears blurry. Just like if you try to zoom in on a small part of a picture, it appears unclear. If a part of the hologram of memory is identical to a part of a different hologram of memory, It will create a sense of familiarity, because it was such a small part of the memory. It appears blurry, and we cannot recall it. Imagine that you went to a friend's house to hang out, and there was a flower pot near the window. A week later, you come home from school, and you notice the same flower pot near the window. Because you paid little attention to it, you cannot recall when and where you saw the same flower pot. However, it is still a part of the hologram of memory, so you feel like you saw it before. The second theory that we will explore is the gestalt familiarity hypothesis, which is one of the most studied mechanisms related to deja vu. It suggests that if an event that you experience currently is similar to one or more events that occurred in the past, you get a deja vu. One research used VR technology to study the deja vu phenomenon in a laboratory setting. 24 participants had 10 seconds to view a scene in a series of scenes, and each scene had another scene similar in configuration. They were told to rate familiarity on a scale of 0 to 10. Rather than a specific part of two scenes being identical as the previous theory explained, it showed that similarities in the overall layout and configuration of a scene to another resulted in a deja vu. The more similarities there were in two different scenes, the likelihood of a person reporting familiarity increased. Have a look at the flag of Ivory Coast. Then look at the flag of Ireland. Do you feel like you have seen the Irish flag before? If there is a long time between looking at the two flags and you forget about the flag of Ivory Coast, you might experience a deja vu. Another explanation of the phenomenon is related to neural shortcuts inside our brain. Our brain constantly takes in information and tries to create whole perceptions of everything we see. Such information includes our sensory information, like our sight, touch, hearing, smell, and taste. These information travels through multiple pathways to reach the higher cortical centers of our brain. Which is responsible for creating memory, perception, consciousness, awareness, and thought. 
Along a pathway of creating a memory, the sensory information passes through short-term memory storage, then goes to long-term memory storage. However, if the information bypasses short-term memory and goes directly into long-term memory storage, our brain may start generating detailed memory of a new sensory input. How cool is that? Memory of something you are seeing for the first time. The last theory that we will explore has to do with brain malfunction. We mentioned previously that neurological conditions can contribute to deja vu. This includes temporal lobe epilepsy which causes seizures. During a seizure, the brain experiences a burst of abnormal electrical activity, as you can see in this picture here. It essentially creates an electrical storm, and the pattern of the storm varies depending on the type of seizure. This pattern is an example of a temporal lobe seizure. Many patients report having a deja vu prior to having an epileptic seizure. But what about in healthy individuals? It seems that the temporal lobe is the origin for deja vu in these cases as well. Some scientists hypothesize that faulty activity of brain areas responsible for judging familiarity, such as the parahippocampal gyrus, leads to a deja vu. In conclusion, there are numerous hypotheses for why deja vu may occur, such as memories as holograms, gestalt familiarity hypothesis, neural shortcuts, or brain malfunctions. The truth is, the exact mechanism is still unknown. We are constantly learning more about the brain, and the exact reason may remain a mystery.